Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Realm of Darkness, the Castile spin-off, uh, where he and his best friend Eden, look at Eden, they're looking very sad right now, but that's because they're feeling uncomfortable with their average body type. So I'm going to go and make them go downstairs and just cook a nice salad. Just a nice healthy salad while Castile does his homework. And Castile, let's actually get into just what Castile is doing right now. Currently he is doing homework for scientific progress through time because he has a class at 3 o'clock. But he has four, th three credits already. He has an A plus GPA already. And he's got four days left in his term. So we could probably bang through this if we're, if we're good enough. Uh, right now, he's he's also in the esports um, career as well because he gets a scholarship for this. So he needs to do the esports stuff to maintain that scholarship. So he's got that to do. So he's going to need to research sim scuffle strategies when he's done. But Castile has managed to settle into his uh, settle into Brychester nicely. He's doing I think this is the honorary one so as well, Nafta. doing history. <laughs> at Brychester, doing very well. Like, he's already an A+. Plus. Like, his teachers are very proud of him and very pleased with what he's doing. And he's also got uh, seven levels in Vampire Law because in his first semester, he took a Vampire elective class. And he actually had a very interesting teacher, one who was very impressed with the study and work he was doing, uh, Professor Ambrosio. But he hasn't, like, met her in person. She's only been sort of corresponding through emails and stuff because she's been kind of busy doing other things she teaches a lot of other classes and the vampire law class was like a night class that was kind of like an online only one so castro hasn't met his professor but she was very impressed with him and wants him to try and do the elective again at some point maybe when he gets into his third semester because he did so well and justin has turned out wanting to talk to their child but justin it is one in the morning so you probably shouldn't be here you should go home Go on home, Justin. It's one in the morning. Eden, however, doesn't have a course or a job yet. I kind of want to do one at a time with them because by the time uh, Castiel graduates and has this done, they won't be that far into the young adult life. So then Eden could probably start whatever course they want to do after Castiel. But they both have the exact same aspiration. They are both nerd brains. And, you know, Eden's quite smart as well. Eden has a tendency... Eden's actually a tinker. They've got a tendency for building things and fixing things. They're kind of looking into more mechanical things. But right now, they are feeling very, very sad. And, you know, it's very sad. And even though it does gender them as a she, Eden is non-binary. Neither male nor female goes by they. Wears a binder, as you can see. They wear a binder. Because they plan to kind of, I guess, get a masect enemy at some point. They prefer, like, a sort of androgynous body shape. They don't particularly like having boobs, so they tend to like wear a binder whenever they can. Oh, did you do your homework? Did you do your homework? You did your homework. Wow. I, I given them just like a, a comment. Just like, you are fine, Eden. You are beautiful. You are beautiful and amazing, and you should not feel bad about yourself, okay? Yes. Like, look at that. Being the supportive friend that Eden needs right now, even though they are crying quite like... A lot. They are being like super, super friendly though. Brighten their day, make them feel better. Just mention how well things are going. And also ask Eden to do a couple jobs for you because you've got class in the afternoon. And I think you've also got Sim Scuffle as well. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, so you're off for that, but you can still get your uh, strategies done. So it might do that. So get you to research that. Because you need to... This is the only way you can maintain one of your scholarships. Castro gets like four because he was just that good. Like one's from Glimmerbrook, one's from being like super smart, the other one's from being super handy, and the other one's from being good at video games. And I think it's in research. Or is it... Uh, order? No, not order. Web. Research. Sim Scuffle. Because Sim Scuffle came with university because it's the esports career, which is pretty decent. Pretty decent. Right now they are only on the practice squad, but they should be able to get a promotion soon, hopefully. Hey, dude. Oh, you're going off to bed. Okay, hopefully some sleepy buys will make you feel better, Eden. Tomorrow with Eden, when um, Castor goes into uh, school, because they've got an exam. They've got an exam, a presentation, and a term paper to do. We can bang out the term paper over the weekend and the presentation as well. The presentation they would have to give on Monday. 
before their uh, and also get all the homework done but because of their like i think it's like how much is your research and debate their research and debate is five so he can bang all that out we could probably bang all that out and get through this uh, thing romeo hines just died wow okay so again my old guard of elderly sims are all just randomly dying and i kind of have to deal with it i have lost bjorn and clara bjergsen bjorn died a while back and clara only recently died as well that was a whole thing and also as you saw the cat the family cat citrine also died uh, recently and then alessandra's soul was released from uh the shell the body i guess and she was able to peacefully pass on to the afterlife knowing that her son you know has has been well looked after and protected and has not strayed to the dark side even if he has murdered two people but you know let's not dwell on that and focus on the important things like castiel being a super super smart being with long beautiful white hair like seriously i love the beautiful white hair on him it just suits him it just suits him right now he's doing his sim scuffle strategies all right you've done that mm, i'll get him to just do the other homework pieces as well discoveries and kingdoms and pathways of colonization do that that should be useful and i might have to send one of them to forgotten hollow might have to be uh, Castro, because if he wants to take the elective, he needs to go and look into Forgotten Hollow because the next elective kind of focuses on the history of that area and its relation to vampire lore. Because, you know, it's all interesting. So he needs to look into all the plants and stuff and all the, the information about vampires and stuff that comes from uh, all their... just all their knowledge, like potions and whatnot. And also how it affects magic users. Vampires and spellcasters have quite the symbiotic relationship like when where some people have them as kind of rivals and enemies with castile's family and his bloodline and just being a spellcaster in general vampires are actually a bit more respectful to spellcasters and as we can see some of them will even marry spellcasters in the case of caleb and sagittarius so you know vampires and spellcasters not quite so like not quite enemies, not quite enemies, but the very it's a very like kind of one needs the other to function kind of thing. Especially when newborn vampires are sort of a born they need spellcaster blood to kind of stabilize them. Which is quite a big thing. Quite a big thing and quite important to learn because otherwise they go mad. They kinda of go mad and then you end up with evil vampires running around everywhere and it's just not good. Okay. Eden kinda of broke, but they're actually functioning now, which is really good. So uh, I kind of had to cheat the blood and eat them because I was worried they were going to wet themselves. But they're feeling much better now. Feeling much better now. I guess the talk with Castiel really, really helped. They do not like Ali Sadiki, whoever that is. They were probably really mean to them. Probably, probably really mean to them at some point. Do you have a good passive parent? Hmm. How interesting. All right, I'm going to get you to go on the chess table for a little while get your logic out so you can get your aspiration done you're halfway there living on a prayer so you know it's not all bad castile homework is almost done almost done but gonna make sure he gets breakfast and bathroom all done otherwise you know it's gonna be very very difficult for him to get anything done we've also got to make sure he gets his presentation started and his term paper done term paper is obviously the first thing we're going to do because there's way more logic in that one and it's very important we get that done so we'll probably have to start that and you've got class at three so you've got plenty of time he's got plenty of time to do everything which is really really good also he's got loads of plentiful needs potions so he and eden can just snack on those plus he can actually make food a bit Grand Delicioso and regular Delicioso. So, you know, they don't actually have to worry about making food if they wanted to because Castiel can just be like, cool, I'll just mag magic dust some spaghetti out of nowhere. Don't ask how I did it. I'm just that good. Also, there's just like weird dead plants here, which is kind of cool. Also kind of interesting. I found this house in the gallery. This is made on the gallery. I can't remember who did it, but if you type in like Brightchester Homes, I think uh, it shows up. It's in the it's in like the Brightchester hash tag Emrys. I see you jogging. 
I see you running by jogging and checking up on checking up on your son. He's doing fine. Also, are those swans? No. Those are ducks. There are ducks in the river. Look at the little ducks. Look at them. Look at them kicking their little feet and quacking away. That's amazing. It, it really is, but, you know, just... Ducks, we love them. Okay, should probably put the salad in the fridge before it goes off. Logic level three. Nice. Upgrade an object, craft an object, and achieve logic level stuff. Okay, so first thing we're going to do then for you then is we'll let you craft a little horse sculpture. You can sell that after you're done with it. Get that done, and you can repair and upgrade something. Uh, probably, no, you need handiness skills to actually upgrade anything, so... That'll be the first thing you have to do. Quite the handiness skill. Woo. And I wish there were they them pronouns. In this game would be really useful to gender neutralize some things. Ah well, what can you do? Alright, let's get you changed and send you off on some jobs, I think. Eden, mostly because I don't want you just hanging about in your underwear all day. That's not a good thing, that's what I've been technically having to do now that I'm stuck inside. Let's go and find an odd job. Then something easy, something that doesn't require much effort. You don't have a lot of skills. You have some research and debate. TV hookup, dumb or discreet, uh, mayhem at the beach, mahi mahis, bonsai artist, and make him proof. The only thing we can do is TV hookup help because we just got the handiness skill. So I'm going to send you off to do that when you got time for it. Although you're feeling glamorous presence, so, you know, cast your complimenting, you did make you feel better about yourself. But, you know, for now, you're just kind of focused on just trying to get a little bit of extra money. They got 10 grand, but that's just because Castile's, like, income is mostly based on his loans, which pays for a lot of his, uh, basically pays for all his degrees, plus a little bit of money from Eden's parents. Just look how cute they are. They're just very cute. All right, you heading off then? Cool. You're heading off. How's your term paper coming along? You're writing it, which is a good thing. So we're going to go zoomy zooms, ultra speeds, until so you've done that, because you've also got your class at three. Back and done all your homework. Woo. Smarty little bean. But you do need to have some fun, so we're going to go and watch. Actually, a better idea. Let's go and wake Eden up, and we'll go down to the pub and have a little bit of fun there and play some juice pong like they used to do when they were teens. It should be a bit of fun. All right, let's, uh, yeah, we got Eden awake. We'll go and we'll uh, travel with best friend of Eden because they're best friendos. And we're going to go and play some juice pong at the bar. All right, we're here. It is very, like, empty. We have, oh, it's you again. Is basically empty. Nobody's here except for the bartender and one of the professors. Sure. It's just this rando up here playing. So they're going to go and play ping pong with Eden. Asriel just literally is just like, do you want to come to the Spice Festival? It's like, oh, your twin wants to hang out with you. And he's like, now nah, we're going to go play ping pong. Play some ping pong. That'll get the fun out. And I'm just noticing all like the teachers are all just coming in. Oh look, Caleb's here. Immediately go in to talk to this lady. I don't know why, but... Sure, I guess he's just a friend. I think he's just a friendly person. I think he's just a friendly person. But people are showing up. God, I get so much better frame rates. No, in this place. I think the other place was just way too much, but this place is doing alright. But these guys are up playing a little bit of ping pong. Not doing too bad. I think Castile is better though, but they're having fun. This woman's just booking away. But they're probably gonna play some ping pong, have a couple drinks, and then maybe go out and have a little bit of an adventure. Maybe oh I know what they can do. He can get make those those fox free nerds uh Are you kidding me? There's an esports match taking place right now. Oh, if only I'd known I might have them go and TP the uh statue in Foxbury. Because they can. Wow. Castiel won that 3 to 0. Oh, they could become best friends. They haven't become best friends yet. Become best friends. Become best friends because you two are like the bestest of friends. Who has been trying to call you? Pierce wants to go to a talent lounge. But it's like, 
No, let's not. <laughs> they can just be like, let's be best friendos, because we have been friends for years. And these two aren't even best friends, but now they are. New best friend, that's lovely. And now they're just telling jokes. Oh, I love that. These two are just the most precious friendos. Alright, so Jess, I think there might be a... No, it's, I think it's in a confident mood. You can discuss a crazy strategy, but... Let's... Sh share a brilliant idea of, do you know what we should do? Do you know what we should do, Eden? Let's go and stick it to those Foxbury nerds and go and TP their statue, okay? And they're just like... Well, you know what? Okay, I'm not going to be the one that gets in trouble because I don't go to any of the universities. So if I get caught, then I'm not going to be able to get caught. Now he's complaining about his teacher. Just being like, ugh. Alright, let's go and stick it to those nerds. It is... I guess it's fairly early on in the night, but... They gotta wait until like night time. Is there someone fishing back there? There is, and they're kind of doing it in a very weird way. We're gonna go and TP a statue, I think. And then we'll probably go off on another adventure to another area after. Alright, to Larry's Lagoon, where we're gonna just go and take advantage of the free Wi Fi for a little bit before we go and yarn bomb their statue. That's if someone else hasn't already done it. I'll be annoyed if someone already has. That is Lilith Fator, I just noticed. As soon as we get here, it's just Lilith Fator boogieing down at Foxbury. And it's like, you know what, sure, why the hell not? Okay, yes, yeah, someone... No, no one's de defaced it, thankfully. Okay, Mr. Raphael wants to hang out with you. All your bros want to hang out with you. Well, except for Gabriel. Gabriel's got things to do. But they're going to yarn bomb the statue at some point. They've just got to wait until the all clear. But, ooh, foodies. You know what? Let's go and order food. Oh, God, it costs money for you guys because you don't go here. Who's that that's just started talking to you? Oh, wait, isn't that the Roswell kid? No, that is someone called Seiji Yamamoto. It's like, sure, they've just come up and just started talking to Eden. And he's like, yeah, sure, oh, cool, yeah, yeah, whatever. It's like, let's order food. Let's order food and just get some, just like chill here for a bit, look around, and then we'll go and yarn bomb their statue, okay? Who is that walking away all sad? That is just someone with CC hair that I really shouldn't allow townies to have because it kind of makes them look really, really bad. Yeah. Not many noticeable people, and people at Foxbury are very varied. Adults, elders, vampires, spellcast well not spellcasters. You just flew over. Castiel. Oh, you guys can both you well you can uh, make an offering for academic success. You don't have anything to make an offering for. And if you just uh, you've just started doing your homework, Jesus. <laughs> it's just like hmm, let's just start doing my homework before we Yarn bomb this tree. Can we get two people to do it together? Because I really think they should both yarn bomb it together. No one's around. Castiel's like, all right, no one's here. He's like, all right, Eden, you keep watch. You make sure nobody uh, finds out what we're doing. They're like, all right, I gotcha. I gotcha. There's no one around. Oh, do we do it? We did it. And now you want to... Don't get water. Fly back here, then we're going to do the Brightchester cheer because Brightchester rules! Go dragons! Screw lobsters. Lobsters are stupid. Actually, no, lobsters are great. It's just like, Go dragons! Screw all you Foxbury lobster nerds! Brightchester rules and we have yarn bomb your statue! Have fun looking at a tree that's covered in wool now, you nerds. And then they're going to go and head off to another location. It's still quite late at night. They've now turned up to uh, Forgotten Hollow, where they're just going to go and sit and chill on a bench. And just be like, this place is actually pretty neat. This place is like super cool and creepy, but no one ever likes to come here because the coffee shop here is just in the middle of nowhere. And even though the coffee's great, nobody likes to come to, like, an old-ass village in the middle of, like, 
back county nowhere just to get good coffee. Even though this place is super cool. Like, in spring, it actually looks so nice. We're going to have just a little bit of a chat. Orphan. They're having just a nice little chat. <laughs> have a nice little compliment. Gossip with them. They have such, like, a wholesome friendship. Is that the friendly... I think that might be the friendly version. Do some joking about old times, like when they were kids. And see just what else is going on. Because it's like, why are we here? This place is just weird. Like, why would you want to come here? And it's like, well, I hear there's vampires roaming about this place. And oh, would you look at that? Would you look at who is, of course, wandering around? It's our Incubus demon, Sammy B, who I have given a little bit of a update to. And I've just gave, given him new hair. The, the one he had before was great, but I kind of like this one. Especially with the white, the contrast against the red and just the black and just the everything. Like, Castiel has no idea that the, the demon that helped him and his brother be created is, like, wandering around right now. He's just wandering around. They're having, like, a good old time. And then... He's just like, oh, wait, I think I just saw. I think I just saw, but I might be wrong. Is it in wi is Whisper about Celebrity? Like, that no. He's just like, oh, I think I just saw like someone walk past, but I'm not too sure. They looked a bit too weird to be a to be a normal person, if you know what I mean. And there's um Esther as well. She's wandering around as well. You remember Esther? She and Saji boy had a bit of a thing, and then Saji was just like, yeah, let's just be friends. She was like, that's fine. I've got better things to do because I'm an evil vampire lady. And he's just like, oh look, there's a vampire now. Look, told you they're real. Like, look at her. And he's just like, ah, it's all right. She's cute. She's cute. And he's like, well, a day to go and talk to her. And he's like, Eden is just like, all right, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Would you stop walking, Esther? And you're going to go and you're going to go and do a friendly introduction to them. She stopped. And you're telling, you're in the middle of telling a funny story. But you're going to go and just do a friendly introduction. Just like, alright, I'm going to go talk to them. Prove you I'm not a fraidy cat of this place. Even though you're very tired. There goes Caleb. <laughs> he was just like, hi. Hi, I'm Eden. She's like, I'm Esther. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Just be like, oh, do you want to hang out for a bit? That's kind of cool, right? She's like, oh, it's always nice when the mortals want to hang out. And, and say hello. It's always funny to see mortals around here. And Castro's watching this. Like, no, Castro's gone to sleep. Castro's gone to sleep, unaware that his professor is literally walking around. This is Professor Ambrosio, who teaches vampire law. She's also on the history uh, degree. She is actually head of the history department. She heads up that whole department because she's a vampire, which is why her classes are so hard to pass. She is like wandering around, and Castro has no idea that his teacher, who he has actually never met, lives in this area. She's wandering around. Okay, Esther's agreeing to hang out with Eden. And it's just like, oh, hi. Do you like a, do you like a nice little compliment? Just, you know, don't try and scare her off. Just be like, hi, ask to turn. You can ask her to turn right away. Also, I don't know if Esther can even make new boards. I need to check her and her brother's powers. Okay, she's mean. Okay, she's just insulted Eden, just being like, ugh, mortals. Yeah, she's a, she's an evil snob, but now she's angry. So you gotta be careful with you gotta be careful with that. She, oh, that's why she she body shamed you. God, I hate it when my sims do that. I don't know why you have to apologize. I don't know why you have to apologize to them. You can just be like, burn this. Oh look, it's a sequel. God, there's so many vampires everywhere. Hey. Insult face, wow. Yeah, Eden's just like, you know what, bun this, I'm going home. I'm going home to Brightchester where the nerds are. Where are you going? You're going to nap on a bench all the way up here. My god, cast. <laughs> I get that you're tired, but come on. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. There's just, yeah, it's just vampire central right now. Ezekiel's wandering around, Sammy's wandering around. 
Esther was wandering around and just insulted poor Eden. Uh, who is that wandering around? That is just a rando. That is just some rando elderly person who's probably going to die, like, in three days. Maybe. And you've just decided to take a little nap. I'm just sort of looking around to see if anyone else is around. Ah, yeah, rain has woken you up. You've taken a nap to, like, four in the morning. I'm just like... I've been sleeping in a bench and that started raining. I probably shouldn't have rested my eyes for a little bit. Where has Eden gone? You should go home. Mostly because Eden's annoyed. And George Kyle just died. Well, I'm pretty sure that's all my Strangerville Sims gone except for the Sigworth family. And I still can't find Owen. So, cool. That's great. Oh god, who's going to be my crazy people then? They're both now back home. Castor's back to editing his term paper, and then he's got a presentation to do, so we're going to bang that out in the weekend as well. I want to just get all his, like, stuff done, so we could probably run through this really, really quickly till Monday. Eden's feeling a lot better now. And they've just started looking into vampires, just being like, God, Gone Hollow is weird, and vampires, all this stuff is kind of, kind of, kind of odd. Kind of odd, but, you know, they don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to let them play some video games just to chill, calm down. Freaking hate picking up these rugs by accident. It's the most annoying thing ever. They still don't have a job. They're not gonna have a job for a while. But they're definitely just been like, okay, it's a bit weird, but they're they're financially comfortable for now. I think so it's not all bad. It's not all bad. Castiel God is doing really well in the skills like eight seven five five. Everything that's three is fine, but you know, so long as he gets his paper and his presentation done and his exam, then should all be good. I'll probably go and finish on the final day of semester for this, because it means that I can just zoom through everything, so. There you go, let's get your term paper done, then you can go to sleep. Alright, half seven in the morning, cast chills up, has been for a few hours, but he can give his presentation in half an hour and that'll be done then he's got his final exam in the afternoon and then that will be done if we can see how well he did i hope he got a's all around i'm a bit worried about pathways of colonization but we have his uh presentation all done i kind of had to do it in the like here because there's no room in this house to actually do presentations for some reason you gotta put them here for some reason so we're gonna go and give the final presentation in a little bit when it ticks over to eight o'clock Right now, Castro's just been watching the news, and Eden is feeling very itchy fingers. They need to tinker and break things and fix things. All right, give your final presentation, Castro, and then you've got your exam later. Hopefully, you should do well, because everything is all good. Everything is all good, and Eden is just, what are you doing, vlogging or just playing games? Are oh, you playing games? Cool. All right. Castiel's getting ready to go off. Off he goes. He is flying out of the roof. And then just completely eating face on the ground, but much faster way to get to uni whilst this person just walked past. Just like, well, that was strange. And then Eden is just going to be playing video games for the rest of the day. I'm also going to send them off on a job as well when they're done, just so that when their stress levels uh, decrease, because they're very stressed right now, so... Let's find them another odd job to do. But also very sad from the gloomy train. Beach cleaning, video gaming, box packing, sculpting, photography, and handiness. I'm thinking we do uh, looking for a gamer for Esmeralda because we've got some decent scores for... Uh, well, we've got decent video gaming skills. That should help. So I'll have you heading over to that one. Asriel apparently just sent the money... But Eden's pretty happy about that. Just like, free money? Yeah, sure, that's great. That's great. So not bad for them getting some free money. I don't know why Asriel sent them free money. I assume it's criminal money. And he's just like, i got to get rid of this. Throws it at his brother. Alright, off you go to your little job. And how are you doing? Presentation is... Oh, you're finished. Okay. You're finished. You've got your exam in a few hours. So you're going to come back. And you're going to just get your needs up just for a little bit and study and then you're going to your exam and you're going to feel super 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 
super pumped and ready for scientific progress through time. Should be good. Should be good. He's a smart little bean, so I have I have full confidence in him. I have full confidence in him that he'll be able to pass his classes. Oh, that's not good. His computer just completely, completely just broke. Can we? Yeah, we can just repair it. Quickly. Eden came back, did really good work, well, got a tip as well. Love that. And he just set his computer on fire. This is not good. Okay. Extinguish, extinguish now before you set the entire house on fire. Stop freaking out about the fire. Uh, is it a bad omen if you're studying for an exam and your entire laptop breaks so you try to repair it using magic and it just sets itself on fire? That doesn't sound like a good omen at all. And it's going to cost four grand to replace. Well. So, I was hope his grant money comes in and they don't have too many expensive bills because that was just a nightmare oh poor Castile <laughs> oh that doesn't sound like a good omen does it does it after your exam you go good luck don't don't fret over the fire you're confident that after putting it out but don't fret that your uh that your laptop caught on fire right before your exam that's just that's just that just happens to everyone that's not a sight a bad omen of bad things to come and you're not you're gonna fail your classes and drop out and just the everything's gonna hit rock bottom for you it's gonna be fine all right you can stop playing on his brand new laptop eden and go and serve lunch let's serve it's a nice healthy garden salad for you guys because also i don't want anything else catching on fire in this place Brittany Costello's died. I've lost, like, I've lost a dog and, like, so many sims in this episode alone. Like, during all the bit that I, like, wasn't commentating over and was just rushing through to get to Monday, I lost, like, two more sims. I'm pretty sure we saw, like, four to six sims die. All right, you're back. You did it all. Proud of you. All right, let's go and have some foodies. And we'll go and close this episode out. So in this episode, Castiel has studied his little butt off and just finished up his second semester, which is super proud of him. Super, super, super proud of him. He and Eden also defaced the uh, Foxbury statue by yarn bombing it because Brychester rules. And they also went to Forgotten Hollow where they found vampires. Eden was nice to... More of fires just died. Jesus, another one just went. Eden spoke to uh, Esther. And tried to be nice to her, and Esther was just super rude. Probably because she was immortal. Uh, you're going to go to esports meeting. And that wasn't a nice experience for poor, poor Eden. And they learned that Esther's evil and a snob. But uh, Castro was unaware that his professor was seen walking around Forgotten Hollow, and we know that she is a bit sinister. And, you know, it's a bit weird for a history professor to be living in Forgotten Hollow. But he doesn't know this, and he still has yet to meet with that. I'm hoping he can take that vampire elective again for this semester. Otherwise, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be disappointing. Because I hope he can. All right, you can just quickly clean those up before you head off to your meeting, and you're gonna be depressed going. And Gabriel, okay, every, most people in his family have all tried to talk to him today to get him to do something. Asriel. Castiel, well, Asriel, Seraphiel, and Gabriel, and Morgan. Except for Emrys. Emrys just, like, wanted to do a jog by. Okay, so you got a C plus on Pathways of Colonization, but you got an A minus and an A plus, so you're at a B plus, so your grade's gone down, but you're doing all right still. Let's sign up for another uh, history class. Can I actually sign up for other classes, because we're doing a Oh, that's the distinction. We're just doing a regular... Oh, no, we are doing a Distinguished History degree. Okay, so... Is there a vampire? Is the vampire... Yes, the Vampire Lore of Garlic is back. And we're going to do another two classes. You've just got to complete six more classes. So you're going to do that. No cost. Look at that. All of that pays for all his classes, plus they get, like, extra money. Like, they get another bit of money there, so... 
There we go. He's back on the Vampire Law of Garlic. And he's got... Okay, two charisma classes. That's going to be so much fun. And he's off to his esports thing. So I'm going to finish this episode here. Good luck, Castile, because you're going to need it without me helping you. But I'm sure you can do a good job. So thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Realm of Darkness. Strange things going on in Forgotten Hollow and new vampires are cropping up and old vampires have mysteriously vanished. Be interesting to know where Harmony Briarheart has gone if Esther's wandering around, just not caring anymore. And poor little Eden, just getting insulted by Esther. I hope Eden can find uh, confidence within themselves because they are a beautiful sim and we love them in this house. But who knows what's going to happen in this series. We know the vampires are all planning something. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye now.